This is the first of four tutorials giving an introduction to scripting in Tabletop Simulator for complete beginners. In this first video, I will be giving a general overview of what scripting is in the context of Tabletop Simulator. Tabletop Simulator is a physics-based sandbox that has a lot of built-in functionality for playing tabletop games, such as cards, dice, and other components. But Tabletop Simulator goes a step further by giving users the ability to customize their mods with their own programming through a scripting interface. This allows users to implement features beyond what Tabletop Simulator itself supports. There are two tools that Tabletop Simulator provides to enable this customization. The first is access to a scripting language. In the case of Tabletop Simulator, this is Lua. Secondly, a scripting API, or application programming interface, that defines all of the functions provided by Tabletop Simulator for users to manipulate their mod with custom code. The Tabletop Simulator website provides full documentation of the scripting API, detailing the functions that are available and how to use them. The Lua scripting language is what will let users structure the logic of their desired functionality, and the functions from the scripting API are what the logic will utilize to actually affect the Tabletop Simulator environment. If you are new to programming, it is important to understand that just as human languages have rules about proper grammar, programming languages like Lua have specific rules of usage, otherwise known as syntax. If you break these rules, your Lua code will fail to execute and result in a syntax error. So while Lua is not created by or exclusive to Tabletop Simulator, using proper Lua syntax will be important for writing scripts in Tabletop Simulator. You can pick up a lot of Lua basics from the examples provided in these tutorials, but it may be beneficial to supplement with some Lua-specific instruction. In the description below, we have linked to one resource that may be helpful. And that completes our high-level overview of scripting. In the next video, we will dive into the scripting editor that serves as the interface for writing your scripts. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing to the channel for more Tabletop Simulator tutorials. You can also find a written version of this tutorial in the description below, as well as a survey for giving feedback on what types of tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Happy gaming!